Good morning, everyone. This is Artie the Vintage Stitcher. Um, I'm going to kind of do a quick review for people who haven't been here before, or maybe just watching my video for the first time. This is like video number 35. Um, I tend to do quick little videos throughout the week instead of one long video or two longer videos um, once or twice a week. Um, it's just, it works better with my schedule. I can hop in, have a quick cup of coffee with you, show you what I'm working on, and then kind of go on with my day. Um, it's just nice little daily chat, and I kind of feel like, okay, I'm actually talking with other people, <laughs> and I love getting the comments and, and stuff like that, so then that keeps me busy throughout the day, you know, chatting back with everybody, but um, so if you're just checking out my videos right now, and you like what you see, and you like those little quick hitter videos, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, I'm your gal. Um, <laughs> I'm the Vintage Stitcher. My name is Artie, and I um, live in the Upper Michigan, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So you have the Mitten part, and then you have like this part of Michigan. I live right about there in Michigan. I live, um, it's a, we are a border town with uh, Wisconsin. Aurora, Wisconsin, Niagara, Wisconsin, and we're about an hour and 15 minutes north of Green Bay. So that's where I'm from. Um, our weather here has been <laughs> just wonderful. Um, we are definitely having an early spring. Knock on wood, it stays this way. I know a lot of people are upset because we didn't get it, um, the snow that we normally get this year. Um, I'm okay with it because I'm not a winter girl. I am definitely a spring, summer, and fall. I do not like trudging through snow. So it has been, you know, in the 40s, 50s, low 60s some days here, lots of sunshine. Yesterday was a bit rainy, kind of just drizzly all day, but it was warm. So a lot of our snow banks are just, have been wiped out. So um, we have a couple small patches left in our yard but probably by next weekend or so we're going to be doing some yard cleanup which is probably <laughs> it's exhausting <laughs> um it's very exhausting and i have a son who does landscaping and does yard cleanups for a living but um he he's pretty busy doing other people's yards so um i guess um i can't hire him to do my I might be able to, but my husband is very particular about the yard. He likes things a certain way, and um, so he enjoys doing it himself. And quite honestly, I don't have to do a lot of it. I just have to kind of clean up the flower beds and clean up the rock beds and that sort of thing. So it's it's not too terrible of a deal that I have going on. Take a drink of coffee. Everybody, I hope you're enjoying your coffee, tea, soda, whatever you're your liquid vices. So, so if you like what you see, please subscribe, like, comment. That all helps with everything. Um, I would love to get to 2,000 subscribers, and when I get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I haven't decided what yet, but I have a couple of things in mind. So um, once we hit that 2,000 subscriber mark, let's just kind of make it happen. I would love to see that. And then, um, and it's more just of a personal goal. Um, of mine. I'm just, I'm loving doing these videos. Like I said, it makes me feel like I'm connected to the outside world. I do spend a lot of time home um, with young children. I babysit my grandchildren and my granddaughter Rhonda is two or about two and a half and Cooper is seven months. So I spend a lot of time um, changing diapers, rocking babies, snuggling, giving bottles, getting snacks, which is good. I, I, I love it. Um, that's probably the favorite time of my week is when I am holding those babies. So I've always been a stay-at-home parent. Um, ever since my boys were little, when I was married to my first husband, I stayed at home with them because he traveled a lot with his job. And then I did work for a while, like during my divorce. And then I met my second husband and he, I have two kids and he has three kids. So somebody needed to be home. Um, and they, they were all kind of that preteen teenager 
age. So I continued to work part-time, but not full-time because somebody really needed to be here. So I've, I've basically been a housewife and a mother, and now I'm kind of a stay-at-home grandmother. And um, that's the life I lead, and that's the life I love. I'm very thankful that for that. I count my blessings with that every day. So that was five minutes of rambling. <laughs> Would you like to see what I've been working on all week? I did not um, <laughs> record a video on Monday. Normally I do a Monday or a tu early Tuesday morning and the week just got away from me this week. Um, and I've been watching other YouTubers too and they're having the same thing. I think it's just spring fever. We're all, the, the week is just flown by and it got away from me. But I did get some stitching time in. So I am working on my schoolgirl sampler. Um, and this is a Margaret by Margaret. Somebody asked me, this is a Margaret by Margaret. It's called Schoolgirl Sampler 2. It is from 1985. So I don't know if it's available anymore. I don't know if you can get it. Um, I would check around. It's been a very enjoyable stitch. Um, and I'll show you where I'm at on it. I'm not very, really far on it. And as you can see, I'm doing it, it's on a 28 count, one over one. So I initially had that rip out period, remember at the beginning where I was like, I cut my fabric too, too short. So I had to tear that out and redo that. So you can kind of see the fuzzies there. Well, now look it down here. So yesterday morning I was trying to stitch and I thought, I'm gonna put some stitches into my sampler. So I started stitching this area and on the chart, I'm going to show you a little peek of it. It has X's and pluses right there. Well, in my mind's eye, I've seen all X's, which is the red color. So I am stitching away, stitching away, stitching away, looking at that little blurb. Didn't bother to look at the front of the picture or whatever. And I'm like, this does not look right. This looks terrible. Um, I didn't know if it was the 28 count linen, um, if it was the one over one, but I couldn't see any definition. So I was to about here. You can kind of see. I was to about there, stitching in all red. I was like, that looks awful. So I pull out my pattern, flip it around, look at the front, and it is supposed to be green and red. So I tear it all out, which is fine because I wasn't very far. Tear it all out. Start stitching the green. Start. I start stitching the green. I get to here and up this way. I made a mistake down here. So I had to tear, <laughs> tear the green back and start all over. So I'm tearing this out with my little seam ripper and my scissors or whatever. Put a fresh fresh length of green thread in my needle, right? Start to go to stitch again. I dropped my needle somewhere. The needle I was stitching with. Couldn't find it. Wasn't on me, wasn't on the floor. What You know, sometimes when they disappear, they're just gone forever and you find them when you're sweeping the floor the next day. Couldn't find the needle. So I had another needle. I had an emergency backup in my little accessory bag. I pulled that out. Well, it's much bigger. Let me see if I can get that to focus. I don't know if that'll focus. There. It's much bigger than what I was stitching with. So it felt like I was driving a pencil through the 28 count linen. So I got to about here yesterday morning. It took me 45 minutes to stitch that. That little leg of green on this. 45 minutes. Because it just nothing was going right. I could not pull it together to get any any decent stitching time in it. And this was before work. And I'm thinking, oh, I really hope this is not how my day is going to go. <laughs> because I was working in the office by myself, in the front office by myself for the day. And I thought, oh boy, this is going to be bad. This is any indication. So... My day went well. My day went just fine yesterday. Nothing too too exciting at work. But so 
with this with this one, then I got home last night, I was like, I really want to put some time into this sampler because I love it and I want to have a chunk of it done to, to show you guys. But by the end of the day, my eyes are pretty tired. I work on a computer all day and um, I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm kind of brain fried and that is the first thing to get tired on me. I don't know if anybody else has that problem. So I had to pull out the big guns last night. So I'm sitting there. I don't have my neck light. You hear me? How much I love my neck light. Had my neck light on and I had my little make clip on magnifying glass. And I love this thing. Um, it's called a, a daylight and it just, I like it. I don't like a lot of floor stand stuff because I'm so short. It's hard for me to like sit in chairs or sit comfortably on the sofa. So this one you can clip like right onto your work and then it magnifies everything. So you can kind of hold it and then, and it moves. It's kind of got a squishy or a springy neck. So it moves, but it stays put when you put it there. And then it clips off and kind of straightens up for, for storage. So I pulled out the big guns last night, um, sitting on the couch so that I could see, took my contacts out, put my glasses on, had my magnifying glass, my light, my lamp behind me so I could see. And I did get um, this section done. And I've been working a little bit on the, the red flowers um, this morning during coffee time. So I've been, so I'm making some progress on this pattern. Um, and I'm liking it. I really do like it. Even though it's small, um, it's a nice challenge. It keeps me on my toes. Um, I, I am liking it. So my other projects, I kind of itch on my nose. <laughs> it's just very, you guys have to put up with all sorts of quirks and coughs and sniffles with me. Um, my other project that I'm working on is Imagine, Dream, and Believe. And this is an Artful Offerings. Um, it's been really popular this spring. I think it came out a couple years ago. It's not, it's a 2016, so it's not new, new. But I know like Country Sampler has been featuring it on their um, newsletter or their website. And they made a super cute little picture or a pillow with it. And they really grunged it up. Um, I'm not going to grunge it up that much. But here is where I'm at with this. And this has come along really nicely. And this is the same 28 count linen that I'm doing the sampler on. Um, but I'm doing two over two. So the nice thing about this is like this, this part is just straight stitching. It's kind of mindless. So when I am babysitting today, um, I'll be able to, I'm going to start working on those stripes on this side because it's something that I can pick up, put down, pick up, put down, pick up, put down. But by the end of the day, I might have one or two of those stripes done and every little bit counts, right? Um, so I like doing that. I like to have something that I can kind of work on throughout the day when I have them, um, other than just doing laundry and cleaning. So, and funny story, here's a, here's a grandma story. Um, we have a little dog, but she doesn't shed. So a lot of people in their house have cat hair, dog hair, whatever. And, and that's fine. My husband always teaches, teases me that we don't have dog hair or cat hair or animal hair in our house, but we have oort threads everywhere. Between my cross stitching, my knitting, and my quilting, there is threads all over the place. Um, they're on our clothes, they're on our furniture, they're on our bed, they're on the carpet. <laughs> they're just kind of everywhere. Well, my little two-year-old granddaughter, Rhonda, um, cannot handle messes. So she goes around every day that she's here and she will pick up little threads. And where she finds them, I mean, some of them are obvious and I pick them up, but she will come and she'll like hold this grandma this needs to go in the garbage <laughs> and she'll toddle over and put it in the garbage and she, then i did it <laughs> so she's very cute but i have she's all over the orts and the threads that are all over the house all the time um so i don't know if any of you have that same situation <laughs> um or if you use an ort jar let me know. Give me a comment. That'll be it. Give me a comment. How do you how do you wrangle your orts? How do you wrangle your threads? Are they all over your house like animal hair? 
or do you put them in a specific container or do you have a certain spot you put them in? Do you save them until your container is full? Do you throw them away as you're stitching? Um, let me know. Let me know. And if we get to 100 comments on that question of the day, I will do a giveaway. I will find something really cool for you guys um, to do a giveaway. So let's do 100 comments on how do you handle your orts. <laughs> for me, I throw them away as I go because I'm a lot of times I'm in the dining room. So they're piled on the dining room table or I'm in the living room and then they're on the arm of the chair or the arm of the recliner. So I pick them up and I throw my little piles away every day. But I would love to hear what you do with your orts. So that is all I have for today. Um, until tomorrow. And I will be back tomorrow. It should be a fairly quiet weekend. Please be kind. I forgot my words. Be kind, spread love, and find peace.